Hey guys, welcome to Matrix. Today we'll be having a look at the Unity Digital Sound Level Meter. This is the UT352 model to be exact. So this is a Type 2 sound level meter, meaning that it has both A and C weighting frequencies. So it's a pretty easy to use meter and I'm just going to quickly go through it and show you how to use it. First thing you want to do is make sure it's got batteries in it before we turn it on. And once that's done, we're going to push the power button here. And after you do that in a couple of seconds, you will see the LCD screen go on and we will see an analog bar up top followed with some valuable some values down here these are the actual levels of the sound levels that it's picking up so we'll quickly go through the buttons next to it we have a button saying A and C and this is basically where you get the option to choose between A and C weighting frequencies so we have an A indicating that now we're currently on A frequencies push that a bit then we get C for C weighting frequency so this is for you to use at your convenience depending on what you would like to use next below that we have a fast and slow button and what this does it just it alternates the speed of uh, the resolution of the meter so right now it's currently on fast which means that its resolution is 125 milliseconds and if you'd like to slow that down is you push that then you'll see a slow indicator and that slows down the resolutions to a second below that we have a max and min button and what this does it gives you an alternate function where you can get max for instance when we push that we'll see a max indicator here and a different value here now this is going to be the highest value that the sound level meter picks up during the entire time and when we push this button again it changes from max to minimum now this will show the lowest value so if I quietly decrease my volume we can see it dropping so that will keep on dropping and it will only show the lowest value push that again and we're out of that feature and we keep getting spontaneous random measurements of the sound that it's picking up next to that we have two arrow keys here with the word level below them now what these two do is give you the option to choose what range you would like on the analog bar up here. So right currently we are on 60 to 110. If we push it here we can get 80 to 110. You push that again we have 80 to 130 and you can basically go down again we have 50 to 100, 30 to 80. So basically that's up to you. You can do that or you can just use it leave it alone and the meter has an auto function where it would automatically choose a range for you now this meter has extra functions like memory so you can store some values in and you can also delete them it has a storage of up to about 60 so what you're going to do to store i'm going to show you how to do that is we'll push the hold button which gets the reading they would like to store and then we will push this fast and slow button up here it says store so once we push that We've seen that, that it says record one. To do that again, it's easy. Push the power button and that again, and we can see record two. Now, if you'd like to go through the records, all you need to do is you hold the A and C button. You can see up top, it says recall. Hold that for about a second. Then we get the value. See, this is record two. We can scroll through the recordings using these up and down arrow keys here. So we currently have two readings. Uh, another feature though of this meter that we've not talked about is a backlight. The backlight is also on the store button or the fast and slow. All you need to do is just hold it for about a second and a very bright illuminating light comes on and you hold that again and it goes off. Now a final feature is how to clear the records. Okay so we need to turn it off. You just hold the power button for about a second and it goes off. Now to clear the records we hold down the clear button and then the power button and you'll see a CLR indicating clear. Now if we try and go through the records, if you long press that, we'll see there's no records on it. So that's basically our meter and how to use it. I hope you liked the video and I'll hope to see you again next time. Cheers.